apply yourself right from the start. And that then brings me to Year 7, because each of you young people is at the start of the most exciting journey, with six years of terrific learning, friendship making, and school-based enjoyment in front of you. You're probably all a bit nervous. I'll tell you, that's a natural thing. I'm sure that most of you have worried in the last few weeks about getting lost in a place as large as Cherrybrook Pipe. I'll let you know on a secret. I was a bit frightened about being lost yesterday. What I found was that there is a large number of people here who have tremendous ways of helping you around the place. And I know that later today you're going to hear from staff about what you would do if you do become lost or if you need some assistance. There are an enormous amount of people to call upon, either peer support leaders or, of course, staff around the school. The one piece of advice I would give to you, Seven, is that Cherrybrook High offers you an enormous range of things to become involved with. Those students who get the most out of school are those that put the most into school. Use your time here very, very wisely. Make a great effort to put into the various aspects of school life and you'll enjoy it and have a wonderful time. It really is an exciting journey and I wish you all the very best. Over the holidays, um, we had a number of, uh, or one staff change that was unexpected and um, Year 12 and 11 is really meaningful for you. Mrs Jones from the English staff has um, unexpectedly received a transfer and uh, Mr Egan will be her replacement. I'd also like to take this opportunity to introduce to you a person who will be very important and very significant in the life of the school and that's Mr Bruce and uh, Mr Bruce is uh, sitting over here and might give you a wave and uh, he's our uh, Deputy Principal and uh, like myself is commencing this year. Once again I'd like to wish you all the very very best for a very very important year. Cherry Brook as I've said is a school that we value hard work, it's a school that we need to get down to work immediately. I'm not going to spend much longer here. Welcome back Enjoy the year, it should be exciting and rewarding. Thank you. Don't panic, it starts tomorrow. 
Welcome back, all years 11 and 12. Obviously, these two years are very important to you people and we value them enormously. The school often measures its results on how the HSC students perform and we obviously rely on you people doing very well. So we'll go out of our way to make sure you 12 get the maximum they can out of this year. Now, there are a number of people involved in doing that. Besides myself, the Year 12 people can call on the help of the Year Advisor, Mr Johnson, who you all know, and the Assistant Year Advisor, Mr Taylor, who generally lives in that room up there. Now, there's also Mrs Fletcher and Mrs Welsh, so if you can't find any of those five people, you're not trying very hard. So if you've got any problems, any concern about your progress, about your classes, about your welfare, your attendance, your uniform, whatever, those five people are the first ones to call on. Year 11. You're welcome to stage six. Stage six is a unique group in the school. They're the leaders of the school. They are looked up to by the rest of the school. So I expect and encourage year 11 to wear the uniform at all times, to attend at all times, and to assist junior students wherever possible. So year 11, you've got Mr. Top as your year advisor, as you would know. Mr. Top here on the other end. The assistant is Mrs. Parsons. The year I'm not one of who Mrs. Parsons is. Mrs. Parsons was Mrs. Kennedy. So Mrs. Kennedy is now going by her name of Mrs. Parsons. There are also two other assistants in year 11 too. Mr. Laird and Miss Evans. So if year 11 have any problems with anything at the school, besides myself, there are those four people you can call on. So please make use of those people. As Mr. Johnson mentioned, the uniform is really important in the school and particularly with the seniors. Seniors, you wear a tie every day sports uniform on Thursdays. You attend class every time that you're meant to be in class and you attend school every day that you can physically be here. Those things we'll be monitoring constantly and it's important that you understand that those are expectations of every student at senior school. Year 11 will be receiving next week an assessment booklet. This assessment booklet will talk about exams and assessment tasks for the rest of this year, the year 11 year. That booklet will explain what to do if you're away when there's a system task on. It will explain to you when these tasks are on and how they're spread out over the years. So if you don't get one of those by the end of next week, you've got to make sure you see me. But we'll be organising that next week to make sure you know your progress for the rest of this year, 11 year. Year 12 received their assessment booklet at the beginning of term 4 last year. In that booklet, I will emphasise to year 12 that the rules in there about attendance and about sitting assessment tasks apply to every person in the state, not just here. So make sure you read that book, and if anybody in Year 12 doesn't have one, come and see me, please. At the end of this assembly, Year 12 and Year 11 will be going to different areas to have their roles marked. I would ask all the new students in Year 11, of which there are about 15 or 16 of them, and the new students in Year 12, and there are a couple of those, to come to the library after your roll call. Now, when you go as a group, you'll go up and get your roll mark. Just ask anyone to direct you to the library, and I'm going to look after you in terms of a bit of a tour and some buddies there. So welcome everybody. Welcome to Year 7. Obviously these people are the ones you're going to have to look up to, so seek them if you've got any problem, get some assistance from them, they'll be only too happy to help you. So welcome back. Have a good year. students, uh, both the seniors and of course Year 7. Uh, I might uh, like to say that, uh, that all of you are facing great change, Year 11s, Year 12s and of course Year 7s in terms of the, the old comfort of the primary school. I'd like to say that um, my son is also facing the same as the Year 7, he's uh, in another school, facing the first day of school and I know how excited uh, at the same, same time a little bit afraid he is and I can share that uh, with you so that uh, we, can, we can go along together. Um, we'd like to make these changes that are facing you positive and uh, we'd like to sort of say to you that uh, there are certain things happening to make them positive and exciting for you. Um, in terms of saying to you that uh, year attends last year, now year 11s have been trained as peer support leaders and uh, they will be taking year sevens for half the day today and uh, at least making the, the day a little bit more comfortable uh, for, for them and telling them a little about school. Uh, now, on the basis that we, we hope that that will start off a process of uh, friendship, support and advice throughout the, the next, uh, next certainly two years of the Year 11's existence here. 
So that's an important part of their time. They'll also be with you another two sessions in, during weeks two and three, and then they'll also be with you at the peer support camp, um, the orientation camp with year seven. I suggest that that's a camp that we'd like all people, uh, all year sevens to attend, and uh, we'll be talking a little bit more about that uh, after the assembly. Now, um, our belief uh, in this school, at least, uh, in the, as it's shown in the past, is that it's a, it's a balance between the process of education, there's a partnership between the community and the involvement of, of all the parts of that community, parents, students, staff, and that's uh, essentially the idea is to start to help the students. Students basically feel responsible, tolerant, and caring citizens as our aim. And our, in our school codes and responsibility, we apply them to all of us, teachers, students, and of course, uh, parents as well. Our strategies for dealing with unacceptable behaviour is built on you know, the process of counselling and, wel and welfare and understanding consequences. So that you know, punishment is not just to, to, for the doing of something wrong, but an understanding of that so that it won't repeat itself. All this is done in consultation with parents. I might add quickly here that uh, one thing that we do want to stress is the use of diary, particularly for Year 7, and that is used as a means of communication between the school and certainly the Year 7 uh, parents and students. And that they'll, they'll be checked by Year, uh, year Advisors, so uh, Year 7, so that you know that uh, you've got them every day, you're using them, and, and Mum and Dad can actually look at them as well. Our merit scheme in the school uh, is structured so that students can easily, but with uh, you know, a little bit of effort uh, in, in terms of class, in school and community, receive recognition, which is important what you do, and acknowledgement for your work and your, uh, your endeavours, so that make sure you, you understand. And all that's, by the way, explained in your school diaries. We, um, we also like to think that our school is a safe and happy place. To, to make it so, there are many people here to assist, and you've already met some of them. Um, the year advisors, the assistant year advisors, the stage head teachers, and also we have some school counsellors. Now I'm going to take a break and introduce uh, uh, Mrs. Pat Young, who will say a few words about the school counsellors. Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to our school, to both parents and to students. Probably very brief because it's getting hotter and hotter. Um, Last year we had two school counsellors at this school. I was here four and a half days a week, and we had another counsellor, Mr. Field, who was here one and a half days a week. Because the school has got bigger this year, we're able to have more counselling time at the school, um, and we have a third person who will be working here one day a week, and his name is Dave Montgomery. Now, he wasn't able to be here this morning because he's working in other schools, He'll be here either Mondays or Tuesdays, and we'll arrange a time to introduce him to people at um, your Tuesday assemblies. Um, so that means you have a choice of three people to come to if you need some extra support at school. Now this is, I guess, for the Year 7 people. The school counsellor in high school is different from the way you might have known the school counsellor in primary school. At high school, if you have any problems of any sort, you've got as you've already heard, your year advisors to speak to, the stage head teacher, you've got Mr. DiMarzo to speak to, you've got classroom teachers to speak to and your peer support leaders, but you've also got the school counsellors. Now you'll walk around the school, you will have been shown where our office is, and it's just behind A block in that building behind A block. At high school, if you need to see a school counsellor, all you have to do is come and knock on the door and make an appointment. You don't have to um, get mum or dad to ring up, you don't have to go through a teacher. It's completely up to you whether you want to come and see the school counsellor. So if you're having some troubles with friends or you're having some trouble fitting into high school in some way, um, it's a bit too big or you know, you're missing some friends that you're the only person who's here at this school, all sorts of reasons that in the next few weeks you might have a bit of trouble, just come down and knock on the door and there'll be somebody there. Um, you let your teachers know so that you don't get marked as tutoring from class, so there's a note that goes to your teacher. But that's all, and then you just come back and we'll have a session to talk about problems. So that's a reminder too for Year 11 and 12. If you have, um, you're not new at the school, but Year 11 and 12 people also have problems with friendships, with teachers, with school work, with things happening at home. You know, we're there for you to come and visit us and make an appointment to come and have a chat about whatever issues are concerning you. You can come on your own, you can bring a friend. We don't really like the past of thousands, like some people turn up with about six friends to talk about their problem. 
Um, we like it to be just a couple of people because our room is not that big. Um, but if we do need to have a group of you together to talk about some friendship issues, well, we find a space in the school and we do that. So I'm not saying we don't sort of talk to lots of people, but if it's just you and you've got your own problems, certainly bring a friend with you. Um, that's quite a welcome thing to do. Um, the only other thing I want to say is, mainly for you servants, but for everybody, um, it is a big school and people have spoken to you about the sorts of things that you need to do, um, put effort in and things like that. There's one other thing I'd like to say, and it's something that I found that students find is really helpful to help them survive in a big school, and that is to put a lot of effort into your friendships and communication with your friends, and when things go wrong, to try and sort them out. Because the thing that helps you survive in a big school like this, um, as well as your family and the teachers around you, are the group of friends you've got. Now, you don't have to have a great big group of friends, and that's sort of an image that I think a lot of people have. The most important thing is just to have a couple of people that you can sit down with at recess for lunchtime and have a bit of a whinge about something that's gone wrong, or share some good things that have happened. Now, if there's lots of people that you can do that with, that's great, but it's really important to make sure you've got at least a couple of people you can do that with. So if you're a new person in the school and you don't know anybody, there's lots of people around to help you make friends, and for Year 7, that's one of the reasons we have a Year 7 camp in a few weeks' time. So friendship is a really important thing, and it's important to put into that, as well as all your schoolwork and the other things that you're involved with in school. So that's all I wanted to say today, so thanks a lot for listening, and um, I hope everybody enjoys their first day back at school. Thanks, Mrs Young. Uh, I'd also like to mention uh, that we have a careers uh, service here at the school. We have a uh, head teacher for program, Mrs. Stark. We also have a specialist teacher, uh, Mrs. Sullivan, for, for learning. And also the anti-racist uh, discrimination officer, Mrs. Takahashi. And all those people will be, will be introduced to you at a later date. Um, but I'd like to say something about um, harassment and bullying. If anyone in the school is harassed or being picked on or being bullied by, by anybody, um, then it's wise to talk to someone about that. And it's fine to talk to mum and dad, it's fine to talk to someone at school or a friend, but it needs to be pointed out to us. Now, I make a promise that if anyone reports any bullying to me, or any one of, of, of us that's in terms of the, the school, Mr. Mr. Wilson's and, uh, and any other person on the executive, I assure you that immediate action will be taken as it's been taken in the past. And the reason I say that is that if you allow for that sort of thing to continue over a long time, you will end up being a person known as a victim. And that person will suffer greatly and the problem becomes greater. So in terms of if it's starting, if it happens more than a couple of times, then it should be reported immediately. And I urge you to do that because we promise that it actually will be taken. Uh, I also sort of suggested to you that, um, that in order to have success and enjoyment for school, it really is based on how much you get involved. Your dedication to work and giving it the best you can is part of it, and getting involved in activities in the school, like year committees, SRC, sport, music, interest clubs that we have at school. Because if you feel connected and part of the school, then that makes for success. It's very simple. Now, when you feel success, you feel positive about yourself and everyone around you. That's important to think about that. I hope you'll have, a, have the confidence in yourselves and in us to solve any particular problems that arise, and that you have a happy and successful year at high school this year. Thank you very much. Mr Cummins will now talk to us all about sport in 2003. Thank you, Kato. Welcome back, everyone. Um, I have a few brief but uh, important sport announcements uh, that I need to make regarding the procedure for this afternoon, uh, particularly for Year 11s. Uh, year 11s, you will need to go to the MPC at 1pm this afternoon to make your sports selections for the upcoming summer season. Um, and Year 12s, if you are interested in participating in this summer season, then you need to see Mrs Fillingham in the PE office at recess or lunchtime today. And uh, keep in mind, Year 12s, if you uh, want to participate in that season, uh, you must make a commitment for the full season. Uh, just a reminder on uniform, uh, 
that year 11s on Thursdays wear their full PE uniform and only year 12s that are participating in summer grade sport should be wearing their PE uniform. So if you're not participating in, in this season, you should be wearing your school uniform on Thursdays. Uh, because we do not have year 9s or 10s here today, uh, you, you'll be just making your selections year 11 for a great sport this afternoon and start trials in week 2. Uh, the school swimming carnival is on next Friday, not tomorrow, but the following Friday, year 7 and 8. Uh, students will be going to Epping Pool, and year 11 and 12 you'll be going to Hornsby Pool. Uh, house meetings will be held next Tuesday for that carnival, and you'll be getting your permission notes on that day. Please uh, assist your role for teachers by getting that money and permission that in on the Wednesday or Thursday. You've only got two days to get that in, but we'll be having house meetings on Tuesday for that, and you'll be informed of uh, where to go for that. Uh, I have one important announcement from Mr. White. Uh, the Davidson Shield cricket team, you're to meet in A1.9 at the beginning of lunch today. Now, for those of you that don't know, the Davidson Shield Open Knockout Boys cricket team have reached the final 16 teams in the state. And uh, it's the first time that's happened at this school. It's a tremendous effort in probably one of the most uh, highly participated uh, knockout sports uh, in the state. So I think that deserves a round of applause for getting into the Just for year seven students, if you don't know what house you're in, we have four houses. Uh, Charles is red, Taylor is yellow, Harrison is green, and Strickland is blue. And you'll know what house you're in from the roll call that you're in. So if you're in 4C4, you're in Charles' house. Okay, so that's the house uh, that you need to go to for your house meetings. Now, year seven students, you probably realise that you uh, don't participate in grade sport until year nine. However, there's plenty of opportunities uh, for you to uh, represent CTHS. We've got the Swimming Carnival, the Cross Country Carnival, the Athletics Carnival is coming up. There's also gala days throughout the year competing against other local high schools. And there's also some uh, knockout teams that uh, you might be fortunate enough to gain selection in. So there's plenty of opportunities for you to get involved in, in sport here at Cherrybrook. Uh, just for the Year 7 students, uh, the PE office, if you need to uh, go there at all, it's just over here to my right. And uh, on your timetables, if you do have <coughs> excuse me, if you do have a PE lesson without a room, you must meet outside that PE office, just around the other side there uh, today or tomorrow if you have a PE lesson. Uh, finally, just to finish off, uh, good luck to everyone in sport this year. Enjoy the sport and hopefully we can uh, continue on those excellent results that we, uh, we gained from last year. Thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth. On the last speaker, uh, we will be going in a second or two to assemblies. My apologies to those people who have had to stand because of uh, the large numbers in the hall. Uh, we just didn't quite anticipate uh, the numbers of particularly appearance we uh, would have here this morning. And uh, I suppose it also illustrates again the level of support that this school enjoys from its community. I have just a few short messages that I need to deliver. I'd like to thank on behalf of the whole school, this year's Year 12, last year's Year 11, uh, for their organisation for the fun fair on the last day. Uh, that involved them in a considerable amount of effort. They did raise quite a bit of money for various events that they're organising, but it also provided a terrific last day. And on behalf of the whole school, I really thank you for that. And I suppose it does remind us of the preeminent place that Year 12 occupies in the school. They are a very valuable group of students, they are our most senior students, and they are deserving of the respect of their juniors. I'd remind everybody in the hall, the two groups of which you've heard this before, but particularly for Year 7, we have a whole series 
of a code of behaviour about what your rights and responsibilities are. But if you want to keep it nice and easy, if you just remember these three things. We have a rule which says that you don't badmouth other people. If you can't say something good about somebody, don't say anything at all. To say something bad about somebody else in a school like this, I can tell you, it'll reach the other, it'll reach the other person in a matter of seconds. There might be 1,700 students, but people talk and stuff gets around, and often it's exaggerated or changed, and it makes your life difficult when the other person hears about it. We have a rule which says that we don't push or shove other people or anything worse. Just a standard rule. Uh, tomorrow, there will be well in excess of 1,700 students. There will be 100 staff. There will be another 20 SAS staff or support staff. It's not exactly a big school. If we all get into the pushing and jostling routine, then we have bad things happen. And the last message is a plain and a clear one for everybody in this school, that this school is not only by local rule, but by law, a drug-free zone. We insist on that and we take really strong action if we find out that that rule has been broken. So you need to understand those things to your seven. That way you don't have any complications about what the rules are. I need to tell you that two rooms that are on your timetables, unfortunately one has arrived but it's not ready to be used. The other one has yet to arrive from the department. J2 doesn't exist as such, and if you happen to have that on your timetable, go to D214. G229 is the new science lab. People have been out on the playground and see it sitting up just up at the top in the bag. And if you happen to have that on your timetable, go to the lecture theatre. I'll put signs near those rooms so that you can get redirected if the chance to go there. And we will put some permanent room changes on people's timetables and publish those on the web a little bit later on. But for the moment, if you can remember those. You need uh, to remember also that there is a brand new rule this year about Year 7 having their own playground area. The area in front of A Block, the so-called lower playground south, that is for Year 7 only. The grassed area in front of new A Block is for Year 7 only. It doesn't mean that Year 7 can't go where they want, but that is an area that they do have to their own, and they have that part exactly to their uh, In a second or two, we will dismiss people to their house assemblies. Uh, I really appreciate the attendance of the Year 7 parents. I need to let you know, because of the heat of the day, and because just of the sheer numbers that we have, we've postponed what morning tea there would have been. There's not really a suitable venue for it. It's going to be a reasonably warm day, but I do remind you that there will be an icebreaker coming up in about week six after the year seven camp, I think. So I think those are all the messages from myself. Really nice to see everybody back. It will be a big school, but a very safe and happy one, I'm sure. Year 12, in a second or two, uh, year 12 is going to the grass area in front of A block where it should be a little bit cooler. Year 11 are going to the outdoor assembly. Really important that we get an accurate roll mark done there. So year 12 and year 11, thank you for your attendance, you can leave and go to the assembly.